Hi, I'm Mikey and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV. Today we're spending a bit of time with the Museum of Vancouver to find out more about their latest exhibition featuring bone, stone and shell objects that have survived thousands of years. We're learning a bit more about Vancouver's ancient roots and Cessnam, the city before the city. So the exhibition is um, about the history of Cessnam and the importance of Cessnam for the Musqueam people and for Vancouverites. Yes, it is an ancient uh, village that existed 3,500 years ago and at the same time it has great significance for uh, the people at Musqueam. And uh, what we're trying to do is enlarge the discussion by talking about um, the, the, the importance of for Vancouverites to understand that the history of Vancouver stretches so much further than you know the incorporation of Vancouver in the late 1800. So the University of Waterloo um, is represented here with Susan Roy, who's our uh, guest curator, who, who did extensive research on the history of excavation at Cessnam. So um, Cessnam um, is also referred to as the Marble Midden or the Eburn site, and um, and so her research kind of kickstarted if you want the project. The UBC Museum of Anthropology also has a great relationship with, uh, and been a working relationship with Musqueam, so it was kind of a natural fit for us to ask um, the Museum of Anthropology to work with us, and Musqueam, well, we, we've been wanting to work with Musqueam for many, many years. And what specifically can we see here at the Museum of Vancouver that might be different to the other two places we'll be seeing? Well, there's a real focus on the material culture, what we refer to here as the belonging, so they, so those, those artifacts belong to people. So, whoa. so those belongings are are at the center, at the, at the center stage of the exhibition. So people will get to see objects, that, um, uh, artifacts that are like 4,000 years old. Um, they will be also uh, able to see uh, animation. So this is going. To, this is the first time that um, those those um, ancient stories, Musqueam, that are, are animated um, in those ways. We have uh, interactivity, so iPads where people can uh, understand better, like see these these fragments, if you want, archaeological fragments uh, in context. So tell us about the Museum of Anthropology and how it fits into the exhibition. Well, as you know, the exhibition has uh, the, the four partners, the uh, Musqueam First Nation, the University of Waterloo, the Museum of Vancouver, and us here at the Museum of Anthropology. And the Museum of Anthropology uh, is situated on the ancestral unceded territory of the Hunkamenum speaking Musqueam people. And the relationship with Musqueam has become more and more important as we have understood what that has meant. The community has been very generous to the museum over time in helping us to reconsider, rethink who we are and how we do things. And what can people expect when they come through this exhibit? So what we want, what we're hoping people get from this exhibit is a very personal uh, experience, a uh, very intimate experience. We have had a lot of community members have shared very generously and so we actually have a room that's set up as a kitchen table and our advisory committee from Musqueam actually sat down, had dinner and we recorded that conversation. So the visitors will be able to come in, sit down in that room and feel as if they are there with the advisory committee sharing a conversation. And then we also have a really interesting piece of cutting edge technology. Uh, we're working with Simon Fraser University, their School for Interactive Arts and Technology, uh, working with something called the tangible table, which is like a giant iPad. And people can take ancient belongings and contemporary belongings and put them together to unlock little pieces of stories, vignettes, video vignettes that are shared by community members. Um, so tell us the importance of Musqueam where we are right now. Uh, the importance of Musqueam where we are right now is significant in the fact that it represents the people who have lived on, on this land since time immemorial. But this land of Musqueam and the people of Musqueam who have been here since the Ice Age and beyond, um, it's become so very important to educate people on who we are so that they know that the land of Vancouver and how they tie to it. So, like we've always said, Vancouver is part of our story, not the other way around. Um, tell us about some of the features that can be seen here. Uh, some of the features that are available to be seen at this particular leg of the exhibit um, are a few of the reproductions of old artifacts, uh, say the sturgeon harpoon, um, which hasn't been in existence in this area in over 100 years. And then, of course, some of the artifacts that are on display here 
are from the ancestors. And some of them are in the thousands of years old um, and in amazingly beautiful shape. And finally, what do you hope people who come to see this exhibit tied in with the other two, what do you hope they'll take away from it? The most important thing I hope they take away is to come in, is to first come in with an open heart and an open mind. Learn a little bit about it. And in learning a little bit about us and who we are and why we are the way we are, maybe then it comes to be a little more of a, an explanation of why we're doing things the way we do them and why we feel so passionate about the things uh, that we do. Check out the museum of vancouver.ca for tickets and details on this exhibit and what's coming up next. It's an interesting trip back in time to learn about the Musqueam culture and Vancouver before it became the city we know today. I'm Mikey Ebbers and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV.